Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Gold. Today, our topic is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So, first, a little bit discuss about leukemia. So, what is leukemia? Leukemia is a cancer of blood in white blood cell, in which is characterized by rapid production of abnormal blood cells. So types of leukemia, there are of two types, the first one is lymphoid leukemia and myeloid leukemia. Lymphoid leukemia is further divided into acute lymphoid leukemia and chronic lymphoid leukemia. Myeloid leukemia further divided into acute myeloid leukemia and chronic myeloid leukemia. Today our topic is chronic lymphoid leukemia. So first definition, what is chronic lymphocytic leukemia? Chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL, is a cancer of the blood and bone marrow characterized by slowly progress and slowly get worse. Leukemic cells in CLL build up in the bone marrow and blood interfere with normal blood cell production. It is most common blood cancer of older Adults age greater than 60 years. We have two types of bone marrow, yellow and red. In red bone marrow present stem cells. Stem cells further differentiate into myeloid stem cells and lymphoid stem cells. Myeloid stem cells further differentiate into myeloblast, platelets, red blood cells and mast cells. Myeloblast further differentiate into white blood cells. Lymphoblast further differentiate into lymphoblast. Lymphoblast further differentiate into B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. 95% of CLL originate from B lymphocytes. These cells seem to be mature but functionless due to non-participate in fight with infections. Clinical presentation of CLL. Early stages of CLL is asymptomatic sign and symptom might develop as the cancer progress. They include if there is a decreased production, so it may lead to thrombocytopenia that cause ecchymosis and bleeding. If there is a decreased production of red blood cells, so it may lead to Anemia, anemic symptoms like fatigue, increase heart rate and shortness of breath. If there is a uh, decreased production of white blood cells, so it may lead to recurrent infection due to non-functional white blood cells. Physical findings are in CLL. Uh, in normal individual, you see normal liver size and normal spleen size. But in CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, you see hepatomegaly and splenomegaly. Other findings include journalized lymphadenopathy. So here is an important concept. You see here is a bone marrow. In bone marrow, you, you see leukemic cells infiltrate bone marrow which can lead to anemia. Anemia because of leukemic cells infiltrate with red blood cells production. Thrombocytopenia because of decreased production of platelets. And granulocytopenia because of decreased production of neutrophils, basophils and eosinophils. So stages in CLL. Two commonly used staging system in CLL, RICE staging system which is mostly used in America and Binet staging system which is used in European. RICE staging systems, it has five stages from zero to stage four. Stages, clinical features and risk. Stage zero, lymphocytosis greater than 15,000, risk is low. Stage one, Lymph lymphadenopathy plus lymphocytosis risk is intermediate. Stage 2, lymphocytosis plus splenomegaly or hepatomegaly are both risk is intermediate risk. Stage 3, 
lymphocytosis plus anemia hb is less than 11 which is high risk stage 4 uh, lymphocytosis plus platelets decrease and uh, risk is high Bennett staging systems it has three stages a b and c stage a is uh, less than three lymphoid area in large risk is low stage b greater than three lymphoid area in large risk is intermediate stage c uh, anemia hb is less than 10 platelets is decrease and risk is high diagnosis of cll in diagnosis the best initial uh, test is complete blood count in uh, complete blood count show leukocytosis remember students about 95 percent of cll originate from b lymphocytes blood smear show b cells greater than 5000 Peripheral blood smear test. In peripheral blood smear test, we see smudge cells. Smudge cells. Smudge cells are also called basket cells. These are fragile leukemia cells crushed by the slide. Don't forget, smudge cells is very important according to exam point of view. So remember that. Investigation of choice for CLL is flow cytometry. So what is flow cytometry? Flow cytometry is a laser based technique used to detect and analyze the chemical and physical characteristics of the cells. Flow cytometry show in CLL CD5 present on B lymphocytes but normally CD5 markers present on T lymphocytes. CD5 marker is Hall marker in CLL. Treatment of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Treatment of uh, chronic lymphocytic uh, leukemia first is asymptomatic when there is a no sign and symptoms in CLL. Watchful waiting, treatment of sympathomatic or progressive CLL, first line treatment of sympathomatic CLL is targeted therapy and chemotherapy. So targeted therapy in targeted therapy uh, is first identify and kill cancer cells. Then drugs include abrutinib, venetoclux and eclabrutinib. Chemotherapy, it kills fast growing cells. Drug include fludarabine or cyclophosphamide. Chemotherapy causes tumor lysis syndrome, which is treated by allopurinol and resveratrol. Prognosis of CLL. In CLL, a prognosis is poor if developed advanced stages, which is anemia and thrombocytopenia and recurrent infection, and high level of CD38 and ZEP70 exp um, expression and 17P11 Q dilatation. So, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.